So this is actually a Cummins specific part from Cummins, the Cummins head gasket. Uh, it actually literally only has about five miles on it, literally five miles. We just put this cylinder head on um, and uh, as you'll see with the modifications we've done to the truck, it overboosted, and this is the result. Um, it was kind of cool because we had a massive fireball at 2.30 in the morning at about 100 mile an hour coming out of the hood. And, well, it's because this area right here blew out and all the oil from down in this area was shooting out the side. The coolant was shooting out this way. And yeah, it was it was actually quite spectacular. There's a trail of blood running from the shop or from where it happened back to the shop, which luckily wasn't too far. But you can see like coolant in this area and this area um, all over the place. It was just starting to leak into the motor and you know pretty bad here and here and back here. This uh, you started blowing itself out on cylinder six too. Um, this engine. Is a 98 and a half 24 valve VE pump truck that we converted to a P pump truck, um, and uh, yeah, we're running substantially larger injectors, uh, 350 over for that matter, um, and we were dialing in the AFC live, and unfortunately, we had a little bit too much for this head gasket. And this is again a, cus, a, a Cummins standard head gasket. We knew we were gonna have a problem. It's not fire ring. We just didn't think we'd have a problem this fast. Literally five miles on this piece. Um, custom header that I made for the truck to try. Um, it works. There's some modifications that need to be done to it. Um, down in the collector area. Um, I need to make a different style collector for it, but it works really well. We're on a dual EGTs. This is a eBay turbo. Um, not happy, but the owner of the truck isn't. He doesn't. He doesn't want to spend big dollar turbos right now. Um, but yeah, this is a modified. I made this piece, um, and you'll see on the other part with the other turbo because um, it is compound um, where why this, I had to make this, it's a V-band setup, and it works really quite well. Um, but this truck pulled 100 pounds of boost, almost 110. Um, the gauge buried at 100, so we're guessing right around 110, right before it blew uh, at 5,000 RPM. Um, nothing else with the truck broke, which is beautiful. Uh, down pipes right there kind of in a goofy spot, but in packaging because the owner of the truck Wants everything so as you can see the shock towers in the uh, Stock location we still retain the battery the only thing we had to move was The oil cooler for the trans obviously we have um, No oil cooler there, so you got the manual trucks. You won't have to worry about it, but it is a, a 24 valve so we had to dual uh, Oil drain setups, which is nice um, we're running split here. Uh, guys, with turbochargers, you don't need dash six lines. In fact, if you talk to Garrett, you talk to a bunch of these turbo manufacturers, they're going to tell you to restrict the oil flow to the turbo, especially ball bearing turbos. Um, this truck's got journal bearing turbos, but you don't need to have dash six. Dash four is plenty of oil. Um, any more than that, you'll actually start getting. Um, bearing failure because of that and oil will start shooting out it 